Hello everyone, it's good to see you all back. Remember how we covered the Spear of Inmost Light and Harmony combo that pairs really well with Choir 1? Well, I've got another Slipstream combo you should look out for, which is Hoyle and Rarity. Why this combo is worth using, you might ask? Well, think of it like this. Our Vortex Grenades will always be reaching their maximum damage with thanks to Choir 1's damage. This in turn means our weapons will do more damage, get volatile rounds, get constant debuffs applied to enemies, get our grenades back up faster, and most importantly, make your build pretty OP. So I'm going to show you what this build is capable of. Let's start with the general aim and exotic of the build. Our aim is to showcase the exotic combo we have currently and explain why these combos pair well with Choir of One. We will also break down how this all plays out and key things to be aware of. For this, we will be using Slipsium and Choir of One. A start with our exotic Slipsium with its exotic effect, it states A spear of inmost light, using your ability will empower the other two abilities, granting them improved energy regeneration. A spear of rarity, weapon finder blows with a damage type matching your grenades, grants a stacking grenade damage bonus. So we are using both Heart of Inmost Light and Rarity's Brow within the build as one. While it's not the full version of the original copy, they both still operate the same way. Hoyle works as intended and will reduce our ability cooldown each time we use them. Since we have Feed the Void, a Fast of Hope, Balance and our mods, we will be able to maintain a high use of our abilities at all times. A Verity will increase our grenade damage by up to times 5. This is a 20% grenade increase per stack and for 11 seconds. With the heavy uses of Choir 1, this paired with Verity's Brown Exotic is actually worth an investment that many players should at least take a look at if you don't have the class bond. I will cover this at a later date, but this build should show you a slice to what you might be missing out. Our second Exotic is the Choir 1 with its Exotic effect, Command Frame, which states a fire's extended range, heavy caliber projectiles at a reduced rate of fire. It deals increased precision damage when aiming down sights. A powerful secondary weapon to use. The following is a match made in heaven for anything that can enhance its usage and damage even more. Like shown, our choir one and heavy of choice will be granting us not only kills and buffs as we play, but grenade damage regen which can heavily impact a wide number of engagements we get into. This is what you want in terms of buffing this weapon, as it provides us two benefits without the need of heavily investing into fragments, aspects, mods, etc. For aspects and fragments, we then have the following. A Feed Void where getting an ability kill will grant you Devour. Helion where casting your class ability will produce a solar mortar that scorches targets and also ignites them. A Facet of Sacrifice where having a solar, void or arc buff can grant you extra darkness transcendence energy from ability final blows. A facet of hope, where well, while having an element of buff, your class ability regenerates quickly. A facet of dominance, where well, your void grenades weaken targets, while well, your arc grenades jolts them. A facet of balance, where well, rapidly defeating targets with light abilities grants mini damage. Rapidly defeating targets with dark abilities grants grenade damage. And Faster Bravery, where defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to void weapons. Defeating targets with power melee hits will grant unraveling rounds to strand weapons. We are basically following what we had the last time, as the original copy shares similarities to what the build is currently going for, so I don't see any point of changing too much of it. Probably the most important fragment to have here will be Faster of Dominance for the grenade debuff and Faster of Bravery for the volatile rounds applied to void weapons. The following two will work in tandem with our Zodic class bond and Choir 1 usage for whatever activity you are in. The increased damage from all points will make using Choir 1 usage even more ridiculous as it currently is, but will allow us to take down major to ultra threats even more faster compared to not having the buffs applied. Positively, this may also help with how much ammo is being used as it will also take less shots to kill, which further pairing this with Feed the Void will gotten us a constant health regen and grenade regen which all comes back to my first point. Basically, at the end of the day, everything is being linked down to two things and that will decide how the build will ultimately play out. For the mods and stats, we have both Resilience and Discipline minus our top priority. Resilience with ours at a tier 10 for a 30% damage reduction. 
I've added the Harmonic Resistance mod, which will pair with my Super, and reduce incoming solar damage by 15%. I would do the same as well, as the extra opportunity to stay alive is much more better than having the extra reserves mod on hand. At discipline, we have Arza at tier 10 for a 1 minute 16 second cooldown via Vortex Grenades. Vortex Grenades provide the highest amount of damage for what Prismatic Grenades can provide, which for me pairs well with a high powered energy AR. This grenade will require constant cooldowns since its current cooldown is much higher than everything else being provided. Our fragments and aspects will help in this case, but also having these additional mods will also make a noticeable impact for our grenades and other abilities. Bolster in Detonation times 1 for a 12% class ability buff, Impact Induction times 1 for a 12% grenade buff, Momentum Transfer times 1 for a 12% melee buff, and Distribution for a 4% all ability buff will be suitable for the build. Additional mods, we then have the following. Void Siphon for create all the power via Void Weapons, especially the Heavy Finder, Reserves and Scavenger Armor mods for the Void Weapons we are using, Charged Up times 1 for increasing the maximum stack of armor charges by plus 1, Void Holster times 1 for automatically reloading our Void Weapons after stowing them, Void Weapon Surge times 1 for a 10% Void Weapon buff, Time Dilation for reducing the decaying rate that our armor charge has, and powerful attraction for automatically collecting orbs of power when using our class ability. So as we have covered our exotic secondary weapon and other key things, I would then advise you to pick some super weapons for the build. These are all optional, but do hold some benefits towards the build. At primary, we have the Battle Scar Pulse with Encore and Kinetic Tremors. In my last Quiet One build, I mentioned the following is a great alternative to players who cannot get the Shattering Bone weapon or roll I had. The following is a great exception to the case, as it is near 1 to 1 with the raid version, but this one uses Encore instead of a Kill Clip, which is better for overall improving the weapon as we play. It does feel light to use and may not have that heavy weighty feel that Blast Furnace may provide, but overall it does the job well in GMs and other activities, and that's all that matters. Heavy, we then have Faith Keeper with Fill Prep and Destabilizing Rounds. I know not a lot of people will want to use a Precision Frame Rocket Launcher because of their low damage output, but they are fun to use, especially with what we currently have. This weapon can apply additional damage via its passive weapon perk, and the additional reserves I have applied via Fill Prep means I can fire this weapon more times than normal against champions and pretty much anyone I face. This might not be for everyone, which is understandable, but the weapon works well for both ad clearing and dealing with bosses all at once, and with the amount of heavy you'll be getting, it is worth the investment and in giving it a try, at least once. While such a combo is fantastic for covering all key areas a solo player would want to invest in, I don't believe that a solid combo allowed our quiet one to feel like it's the main counter of the build, hence why this combo feels a bit more better overall for how often we are able to use it in coordination with our weapons. Tell me, how often do you use your grenades? A lot, right? That's because Bungie doesn't provide a lot of variation or grenade types in terms of damage for the common prismatic class. You're limited to using what is there, but that doesn't mean our options are terrible. Vortex grenades with facet of dominance is the best and most easiest combo to use when you want a strong and powerful grenade on the get-go. Having Amos Light and Feed the Void can reduce this current cooldown so that we can use it more often, while Verity is going to keep increasing our grenade damage as we get along. With currently how, pow currently with how powerful Quiral 1 already is, you should be getting the uber powerful mini nova bombs in the palm of your hands every 15 to 30 seconds as long as you net the kills. I think this is where it makes Quiet One better overall, as you'll be using your Void Weapons continuously to break enemies down, and Quiet One to attack features is so strong, we can pretty much use this from start to finish if we light, of course, ammo. Since our grenades will be buffing our attacks, and our attacks will be buffing our grenades, it feels like these two are perfectly meshed together to always provide a constant buff that is incredibly noticeable. I know not everyone has the exotic class bond or the one shown, but I do recommend you try and map the following just to give it a spin. And if not, 
then there's always my other builds to look forward to, which have better options to pick. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. Well, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos, then leave a like on the sub while you're here. Dim link for the build is located below in the pinned section, and I do advise you to check out my playlist for more. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.